In this video, I'm going to show you a Mendix tutorial, a low-code development platform that empowers users to build applications quickly and efficiently. This video is perfect for beginners as it will walk you through the entire process, from setting up your Mendix environment to deploying your first app. So by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to create an app using Mendix without advanced coding skills. So first, what is Mendix? Mendix is a low code platform that allows users to design, build, and deploy applications with minimal coding knowledge. It provides a drag and drop interface, templates, and ready-made modules, making it accessible to developers of all skill levels. Mendix is widely used for enterprise applications, web, and mobile solutions, enabling companies to accelerate development timelines and focus on innovation. So now let's move on to Mendix Home. So when you just created an account, you will be first asked, what do you want to achieve with Mendix? So you can either select Get Build, build Without Limits, Drive Transformation, Boost Productivity, or Architect for Scale. So from now, for now, I'm just going to select Build Without Limits. So click on Get Started. So now we'll need to, uh, you'll see right here, you can download and install the Studio Pro. So Studio Pro is their desktop low-code development tool. So you can download it to start building apps. So if you want a guide, so you can also see this video, how to create and deploy a Hello World app. So you can, from here, you can download the latest version of the Studio Pro. Or from here, you can click on Start Learning Path to become a rapid developer. So to continue learning, you just need to scroll down. So you'll see a bunch of different of course is right here such as build your app using a template so that is what we're going to do right now so click here and start new learning path and we will now be redirected to the mendix academy so from here you will see this lectures so first is the introduction so as you can see in this module, we will get to know the goals of this learning path and get introduced to the use case. So first you want to click on welcome. So we'll just read all of this. So you'll need to use the Mendix portal interface to create an app from a template and add team members to it. Click on next. Audience and duration, again, click on next. So this is how you can read the course guide. So let's just go back. So just follow all of the lectures from introduction to create an app, to display data, to add custom logic, filter data, and the conclusion. So now let's go back. So to start creating an app, click here and create app on the top right. And we will now be redirected to this page. So first, uh, you need to pick a name, choose an image, and select a starter app. So in the Mendix portal, you can add stories and receive feedback. Open our low-code IDE Studio Pro to start developing. So first, let's add the app name. So again, let's just select Hello World. App description is optional. So for the app icon, of course, you can select right here. And for the color, I'm just going to click on choose for me. That's what it will look like. I'll click on next. Now you need to select a starter app. So you can either choose the black web app. So start your new progressive web app based on the Mendix Atlas 3 design system. So included are a selection of widgets, building blocks, and page templates to get you going quickly. You can also select the blank Gen AI app. So use this template to accelerate the development of a new AI augmented app. So it's preloaded with all the modules 
you need for a variety of models. So next is the AI Bot Starter app. So you can build your own private enterprise grade chat GPT like solution. So you can connect it to a model like Anthropic Claude or Amazon Titan via Amazon Bedrock. So uh, I recommend using the blank web app or you can use this blank gen AI app. So let's select this and click on create app. And now this is how your dashboard will look like. So first you can go to Buzz. So this project doesn't have a description yet. Of course, you can add someone to your team like right here. You can uh, enter their email address and add the, their project role. Next is you can go to team. From here, you will see all of the team members and go to documents. So you will see documents right here that you have uploaded. So if you want to upload a document, you can click here on upload document, click on browse and select the document you want to upload. Next is team server. So this should be your team server URL. This is selected branch. Next is your general settings. So from here, you can edit your general settings, your cloud settings, access management, your API keys, your project management and the history. And now let's move on to the project management section. So let's go to the board. So as of now, we don't have any uh, boards going. So I'll just go on and get started. We can now create or click here on open planning. So as you can see, you can add stories in the next sprint on refinement and backlogs. And simply create the story. So this is just the basic uh, dashboard for Mendix. But of course, if you really want to develop your app, you need to download the Studio Pro. And just like what I said, it has there in the guide so you need to read all of those courses and follow it using the Studio Pro. And next is the App Insights. So from here, you'll just see feedback, mini surveys, and in the deployment uh, section, you can also see this environments, pipelines, which is in beta, software, composition, metrics, logs, backups, alerts, the mobile app, and webhooks. So this should be all for your website dashboard again if you really if you want to develop the app simply download the uh, studio pro and from there just follow the guides so if you find this video helpful please hit like and subscribe thanks